Welcome back everyone to Punctuate Theatre and Dream Speakers Virtual Indigenous Artist Hub. I'm Rebecca Sadowski. I'm a Métis dance and theatre artist based here in Edmonton. And today I have the pleasure of sitting down and chatting with Sky Demas. Sky is a Cree dance artist who currently lives in Edmonton. You might have seen Sky in Minosis Gathers Hope and Bears, two shows by Alberta Aboriginal Arts and Punctuate Theatre. And these shows have toured all across Canada, including right here in Edmonton. Thanks for coming on our show, Sky. Hi. <laughs> um, I did get laid off over a month ago from my job. I was lifeguarding. Um, so the pool got closed, obviously. Um, but I am fortunate enough to be getting employment insurance. So I'm just chilling at home. I actually love taking like Instagram live dance classes and like sometimes I'll pay five dollars to take an online dance class. I just have all the time in the world to like dance and take classes. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about what type of dance classes you like to take online and, and what you like to explore? Um, well, I'm very passionate about hip hop. So I have been taking a lot of hip hop classes, but there's like different styles. There's like some that are like super like b-boy, like you have to be super, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but there's that and then there's like super girly. So it's like two different kinds of hip hop. So it's like nice to get all the aspects. It was difficult. I did take some acting classes in high school. So I had like a little bit of yep. background in theater. Um, yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> I definitely feel like my confidence grew as an actress being in Minosis. Like I am a confident dancer, but acting I wasn't so sure about, but then I got thrown into this part and I grew to love it. So. Yeah, I loved seeing you grow in that role and, you know, you got to perform that role for a lot of different communities. Can you tell us a bit about where you performed Minosis and for what different audiences? Minosis was a play for young audiences. So I performed for a lot of Indigenous communities, mostly like elementary school. Um, yeah, that was really inspiring for me. Like, I feel like they were inspired by me, but I was also inspired by them. Like, they have so much potential, and, like, it felt great to be a role model. <laughs> 100%. I think that's such a wonderful part about being an Indigenous artist is giving back to these communities and really having an impact on, on other Indigenous artists and the youth growing up, right? So I remember one time, I think it was in Canmore, we just did Minosis and me and my friend wanted to like go explore because we had free time. We went to the candy store actually and there was this little girl and she recognized me because she saw me in Minosis and she was like, mom, that's Minosis over there. <laughs> and <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was like into the candy, but I think my friend noticed. And that was really nice. So something that I learned with bears. Sky, you're frozen. Come back to us. Where did you go? technical difficulties it is going to happen and that is just the name of the game and the season that we are in right now yes <laughs> so that is all fine um being a part of bears is like going into it I was a really shy like introverted kind of girl and I didn't like to make a fool of myself like I didn't like to scream like an animal and like <laughs> I don't know flap my arms like a bird um so going into that I was um, definitely, I stepped outside of my comfort zone a lot, and yeah, even in like Minosis, I, sorry to bring it back to Minosis, but in Minosis I felt comfortable because it was just me and like it was also a lot of dance, like 
yes, there was acting, but it was more dancing, I found, which was easy for me. Bears definitely helped me step outside my comfort zone. Um, it helped me not be afraid to make a fool of myself because I wasn't alone in Bears. We were all making fools of ourselves. But no ladies were showing any interest. <laughs> Who could blame them for what thought? Because nothing kills the mood like a fucking clear cut. <laughs> but it was for the story, and I think it worked really well in the end when we all committed to being a bunch of animals. <laughs> what was it like for you? during the tour of bears having to travel to different theater settings different communities and um would bears change each time you did it or would it relatively stay the same first time we toured bears one of the only things that would ever change is like our spacing and we would all do a really great job of adapting to the space we were put in i I believe the second time we toured at the Belfry Theater in Victoria, BC. That was my favorite theater. Have you learned anything new about your culture, um, even through dance or even through the last few artistic processes you've been a part of? So I am of Cree descent. My mother is from Satellite Cree Nation. I also have some Sioux and Ojibwe in me from my dad's side. That's from Manitoba, but I grew up knowing Saddle Lake and knowing my family from Saddle Lakes. It was really nice learning more about like the creation story and like um, traditions because I grew up in the city, so I didn't, like I know about my culture, but not as much as I would like to. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot like I want, I want to say with right. everybody <laughs> throw them in okay um a lot of the bears cast inspires me um just creatively like the way um they can put themselves into like their theater work I really look up to Sheldon Elter and Jana the Circa yeah, because they're like, they've been in the theater game for a while. <laughs> I just really admire how they put themselves into their work. So there's this Edmonton Eskimos hype team. It's like a cheer team, but it's like hip hop based and it's like dance, like hip hop dancing and performing. Um, I actually, this was my third time trying out. I the first two times I made it, but then I couldn't do it because of like scheduling and like other circumstances. So this year I was like, yes, third time's a charm. I'm finally gonna get to do this. I've been wanting to do this since 2018. <laughs> and then COVID happened, so. <laughs> I would love to learn more about singing. I'm not a singer. I love to sing, but I've only taken like a couple classes. I took choral in grade seven and that's all I have. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with me. It's so nice to get to know how you're doing and I hope that the water park at West Edmonton Mall opens again soon so you can go back to your lifeguard gig. <laughs> oh yes. Thank you so much to all the viewers who tuned in today. Dream Speakers and Punctuate would like to thank their funders who make this video series possible. Make sure to check out all of the other Indigenous artists that we are highlighting in this series. And once again, I'm Rebecca Sadowski, and I hope you all are staying safe and are all well.